Hey guys, uh, today I'm going to be showing you uh, where I get my chemicals and what all I have. Alright, so first off, let's start with the basics. Some distilled water, you need that pretty much. Some latex gloves. Oh, well, the distilled water you just get from a, any really store that sells food. Latex gloves I got from drugstore. They were... Um, you can't take that, I'm guessing. They were ten bucks each or around there. And a scale. And the Illustrated Guide to Home Chemistry Experiments by uh, Robert Bruce Thompson. I got this off eBay. Pretty cheap. So, yeah. So that's those. Next off, chemicals. Alright, so these are most of my chemicals. Well, the important ones, anyways. So, let's start out with drain out. That's sodium hydroxide pearls, and I got that at just a hardware store. Got it from Rona, to be specific. It was eight seventy nine, And now I just got regular drugstore hydrogen peroxide. It, I don't really know how much it was, like two bucks or something. It's just three percent solution, wherever it says that right there. I doubt you can see that. And next is same, just this time it's six percent solution. It's a bit better. And that I also got at a drugstore, both those. And rubbing alcohol compound, that's seventy, almost seventy-six percent. And that's just that. Farm Save Drugstore. Next off is ammonium nitrate granules. I got th that out of an instant cold pack. It was like dollar fifty each. Nice and cheap, so. And iodine. I forget where I got this actually. I think my mom had it for water purification or something. But yeah, she doesn't use it, so I took it and potassium iodide. I also don't remember where I got that. I'm pretty sure it's not that bad. So you could probably just pretty much get it at any chemical supplier. Next is my lithium metal. I don't know if you can see that, but I've got quite a bit there. I watched Nerd Rage's video on getting it from Energizer batteries. It's stored in mineral oil. So, yeah. There's that. Here's the mineral oil. Got that from Pharmasave. It was six bucks or five bucks or something like that. And here's sodium silicate. I got that from the science company. It's rather cheap, it's about six bucks for yeah, six ninety five for uh sixteen ounces. Where is it? Right there. So there's that. Science company. Sold individuals it's in the States. Pretty good, decent prices. And after that, I have glycerin. Got that also at Pharmasave. It was about three bucks for this. Uh, 100 milliliters. Use that for nitroglycerin and stuff. And next is baking soda. Just to get, everyone knows where to get that. No need to tell you. Next is my potassium nitrate. I've got fair bit of it. I got that from a drugstore. Just PharmaSave. Most of them should sell it, or you could go to Lowe's or Home Depot or something and get it under Grant's Stump Remover. And some sodium acetate trihydrate. That was seven ninety five for a hundred grams, I think. Um yeah it doesn't say but yeah I also got that from the science company. Next is um, Rotime Humidifier Descaler and Cleaner. That is just hydrochloric acid. You can purify it by looking at the home scientist's video on how to purify hydrochloric acid. That was 529 for 500 milliliters. So that's decent price, actually. Next, you might not all be able to get this, but it's FlowPro. It's a professional drain opener. That is sulfuric acid, actually. I got that for six 
six bucks or something, I think. Uh, yeah, it doesn't say, but yeah, I think six bucks or something. I just got that at Rona. Oh, yeah. I also got uh, hydrochloric acid at Rona. And last but not least is borax. Sodium borate, I think it is. So uh, you can just get that at any co-op or any store that sells cleaners or whatever. I forget what it is. Uh, dishwasher or something or washer machine. So yeah, there's most of my important chemicals and where to get them. And those things. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.